everyone. Hi. So we didn't actually film a morning chat the day after our first one because we didn't really do much that day. Mm -hmm. And so we're coming at you today to report what we did on Friday. Yeah. Yeah. And I will not be getting ready because I am not feeling well. I'm not going out. So actually Jasmine's just going out by herself tonight. I mean today. So I'm just, I'm here. I'm going to do my nails actually. I just took off my polish. So yesterday, um, well, let's start off with yesterday's lunch. Yesterday's lunch was the long way to Kita. I think, I think, I think we can start food. eating. Yeah, yeah. I just have to it's mentally good. prepare myself though because I've been looking forward to this moment for a really long time and I'm just getting really nervous because I just don't know how my heart is going to take. <laughs> oh my gosh, that was so dramatic. <laughs> the marinated crab, it was like mind effing blowing. It was really good. We're saying that this, this is like a dish that our parents make or our moms and it's like this restaurant basically ruined it for us yeah for the rest of our life forever yeah it's it was really good soy marinated crabs and the crabs yeah. itself is very different in korea because they're just so much bigger and there's so much meat in it cheers okay i'm so nervous you want to hold it mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that's really marinated crab so yeah. This is so good. That's, oh my gosh, this is so good. This is the best part. Oh. I'm gonna save it so that like I, we have to get the sides later, but that, I think that's the best part. The sides? Yeah, because that's when all that's where all the art is. Stick it out like this. Oh yeah. Oh, man, oh my god. The best part. What about the other side? I have to save it. I have to like do it little by little. I feel like most people don't like crabs yes. because there's a lot of work There involved. is a lot of work with very little payoff, you know? Yeah. But this, but. we just, just bit into it and it was just amazing. It was pretty fantastic. And the arbab was awesome. Yeah, so we got like a crab and like the fish egg mm -hmm. pibimbap um, along with it and it was so good. Mm. At least you live here so you can go back. Yeah, but honestly, I'm probably gonna go back the next time like my best friend visits or something. <laughs> well, no, I do want to take Brandon at once because he's never been there. Yeah. I wanted dessert, and I'm not a huge dessert person, but you know, when I'm in Korea, everything just looks so amazing. And I'm sure, like, you know, I'm from New York, New Jersey, and we have so many bakeries too, and I never get myself to go. But here, I feel like it's the right thing to do. Okay, round two, we got some dessert. This is like some chewy, doughy donut thing. This is like a cream, a huge cream puff. Yeah. And then this is a strawberry little boat of graciousness and lump scum scrumptiousness. Uh, very fluffy. Mmm. -hmm. That's really good. Mm -hmm. I am curious. This is called a gluttonous donut ball or something. <laughs> like I gotta get it because of the name. Ew, is there pot in here? I was not in the mood for pot. We just thought it was gonna be like basically a. There's one with cream cheese inside, and it's um they have it at Paris yet. That's probably my favorite. Oh, there's red bean in this one. Is that they said this is a sadera nora noga in your mouth, right? So it means it's supposed to like just melt in your mouth. <laughs> this is really good. That's really good. Mm -hmm. We have to eat in like two hours. <laughs> no problem. This is what happens when we have visitors. There's no such thing as routine. Everything goes out the window. Everything goes out the window. Yeah. Yeah. All discipline, all your inhibitions. And you just, you just eat and you just keep eating even if, even if you don't want to. You gotta take one for the team. Jasmine had the great idea of us getting a massage. Cheers. Oh, it's brilliant. It's brilliant. Mm. And it was amazing. I think after I got the massage, um, I told the masseuse how much I loved him. Yeah, right away when he was like, okay, we're done. She's like, I love you, man. Yeah. <laughs> or she's like, I, I just, she's yeah. like, that's what she said, right? I can't decide. Jazz, uh, Merino Cool, and Mink Muffs. 
I think I'm gonna go for this guy. Cool. This kind of is how I feel today. I feel like this, both of us are just like so dead right now. So dead? We're so dead. Anyways. Yeah, let's liven things up a little bit. We got the massage and then we went straight to the, the fish, fish market. market. Yes. Video. <laughs> Ah, video. Black tiger. Yeah. So this is like a size comparison with my hand. It's crazy. So that's one of the best things about Korea is um, you can go to this fish market and um, after being harassed by the people there for a good 30 minutes, once you kind of get used to that, um, or go there with uh, a really tall male figure like Brandon and then everyone will stop approaching us. Yeah, what I didn't like was these guys, they're trying to sell us fish and they were like in our faces like, I don't like being touched, I hate being touched. And they would just kept like grabbing us and going ni hao, ni hao. And yeah. I wanted to seriously you know, punch someone in the face yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> that was not cool, man. Yeah, so the best thing about the fish market is that you can essentially pick your um, own live fish and there are a bunch of different um, types that you can pick from and uh, what they do is they make it they cut it up for you in sashimi style and bring it to the restaurants that are at the fish market and with the leftover bones they make uh, meuntang which is a spicy uh, fish stew for you and aside from the fish you can also get like shrimp and they can grill it or clams or we got live squid did you already yes. mention that no oh yeah so that's one of the things you would get live squid um and you and that's kind of like the specialty of um it's like a korean way of eating it's uh you literally just eat a live squid dipped into sesame oil and, and salt. salt so you have to like kind of chew quickly or you can feel the suction in your mouth yeah um, their ten tentacles. Yeah, we also got some live abalone, which I like, but I think it's also an acquired taste. Which That's one was that? Like the one with the really chewy texture that came in a little shell. Oh, that one looked really nasty. Yeah, uh, so we had an amazing dinner. Cheers! Cheers! We also got some raw salmon too oh my gosh that salmon was amazing it was like so buttery it just like melted in your mouth yeah so we did that which was awesome and then we actually split up after that because that's when i started feeling pretty ill and i thought we were gonna have a big day today because today's basically their last day here so brandon and i went home early and then you guys went out why don't you talk about last night last night was just bad like, we're too old to be doing this. And you know, like when we're back home, we rarely go out. And when we do, it's like, you know, we have like dinner parties where people come over and we drink some wine. But every time we travel, it's like we turn 21 again. And we order bottles and bottles of whiskey. And it's not even like classy drinking, it's just straight up binge drinking. Like She was like talking to her mom this morning and her mom was apologizing to me and Brandon on her behalf that she feels bad that we have to like cater and <laughs> house them. But I mean, it's cool because I want them to have fun and experience Korea. And this there are certain things, the, huh? This is not the only way. Well, I mean, for me, I've never been like someone that can stay out and drink and party all night. And I wouldn't want to take you away from that if that's what you guys want to experience. So there are things we do together, like the food stuff. Yeah. And then if you want to hang out after, like totally cool. You have, you know, she has her own set of keys or key card to get into the building. The Rogers are basically our parents. Like before we go, they're like, be careful. <laughs> Make good choices. <laughs> <laughs> this is after one coat. Oh god, oh. I need a facial. This is so gross. I mean, I woke up with a pimple too. <gasps> Look at this. Oh my god. This is what happens when I come to Korea. Why is it Korea though? I think it's the water change. You've been taking off your makeup before you sleep though, right? Mm -hmm. like all is it just that side for you? Because this side looks like... It's good. always... This side is always worse. Oh my god. Does it give you goosebumps when you look at bumpy things? Yeah, and... That's how I feel when I look at my face right now. You know, there's like a word for that. People that don't like clusters. Yeah, I think it's like try something. Every time I come to Korea, I when I go back, my face is like atrocious. It's probably because we eat bread and sugar all day long. That too. Sorry to change the subject. We'll come back to your clogged pores, but 
I really, really like this um, OPI Natural Nail Strengthener. And I use this as a base coat. And the reason I really like this is because there was a period where I was getting gel nails done like every three weeks to a month. And I, did, I think I did that for oh, somewhere between six months to a year. And when I finally took off the gels like for good, my nails were super weak, like to the point where once I touched it, it would just bend and uh, it was really gross. And ever since I started using this, my nails have been so hard. And then for my top coat, I really enjoy this Butter London Hardware. It's a quick dry, ultra glossy, non-toxic top coat protecting your lacquer. I got this in a set with the Butter London Nail Foundation. And this one's kind of cool because it looks a little bit colored. It kind of looks like a very, very light baby pink. But once you put it on, it just makes your nails look very matte. So wearing this on its own is pretty nice too. I mean, I don't need to wear both of these. So I've been just using the OPI in place of this. And then, yeah, so I totally minimized my nail polish collection and this is all I dwindled it down to. That's what you it's minimized? I had like two huge shoe boxes full of nail polishes and so many colors were so similar. So I made myself only pick the ones that I absolutely, like my capsule stuff. Do you do your nails at home? Um, I do since I stopped doing gel. Um, yeah. I wouldn't pay for a regular manicure in Korea. Oh. Anyway, um, if you guys are interested in seeing the contents of this, let me know below and maybe I'll do like a capsule collection of my nail polishes and um, like my nail care stuff, I guess. Back to your clogged pores. So gross. Korea. Korea. Do you feel like when you put on makeup on top of your um, pores, mm -hmm. like blush on top of the clogged pores, do you feel like it accentu accentuates the bumpiness? Mm -hmm. That's why I don't wear blush because I, when I break out on my right cheek, I hate drawing attention to it. Yeah. I'm so bloated. Can't wait to go back. So whenever I travel to Asia, the first thing I do when I go back is order pizza and a giant salad. How does that help you not be bloated after Asia? This has nothing to do with being bloated. Oh, because you start out with, I'm so bloated, I can't wait to go back home. And so, when I go back home, I <laughs> order a giant pizza is what I heard. Is that what you guys heard? <laughs> Let's back it up. What do you mean? I um, always crave pizza and salad. And Dave too. Every, it's every, every time we travel. It's so odd. When I come to Asia, especially salad, because I feel like when we're here, the only vegetable we eat is um, kimchi. Kimchi or like anything fermented or cabbage. Cabbage with like Thousand Island dressing. A nice big hearty salad is near impossible to come by in Korea. That's crazy. Dude, your hairdresser is awesome. You like him? I didn't even, my hair looks like naturally like wavy. I like, I look like mm -hmm. I styled it. Yeah, and, it does look like you styled it. And I didn't do anything. Uh -huh. The way that he cut, I think is just awesome. Specifically told him, can you cut my hair so that I don't have to do anything? I don't have to blow dry. He's like, you don't even blow dry? I was like, no. Oh my God, he said the same thing to me. Yeah. He's like, you don't blow dry? I'm like, nope. Um, and he's like, yeah. he's like, doesn't it get frizzy? I'm like, I don't yep. care. I just, I just don't want anything to do with it. Oh my God, that's so funny. And that's exactly what he accomplished. Yeah. They are a bit pricier yeah, though. Yeah, I didn't know that. Prices. I was like, how much is it? They're like, uh, 55. I was like, really? What about for guys? Uh, 55. Your like, hair was 55? Yeah. I was I like, really? I didn't pay 55. Did you ask for something special? No. Yeah, I definitely didn't pay 55. I think I paid like 40, 45, 45. I don't think you paid 55. It was 55. For both of you? No. You just oh, yeah, said yeah, for yeah. men's. Yeah, yeah, There's yeah. no way David's hair cost 55. It was 55 and what he specifically said was even for children it's 55. I was like, huh. Interesting. I 100% did not pay $55. You just always go to random salons when you come here, right? You don't have like a go-to? Nope. I don't yeah. like experimenting too much after all of my hair fiascos. Yeah. I feel like in Korea, everyone's generally good minus your own big person. My own big person. Yeah. That poor man. <laughs> Bless him. I hope he's doing okay. I feel like I like kind of scarred him. Yeah, but he's probably like killing it on his own. What do you mean on his own? Like, no, but you'd never revealed who he was. And he was so confident in telling me that he could accomplish it. Yeah. So he's probably telling all the other people. How okay, he... after what he did to me and then the whole thing that I had with the owner, mm -hmm. I don't think he thinks he's killing it. <laughs> <laughs> but I think he's probably, he's, maybe he's become humbled. 
Well, you're really good. I'm not. Look, it's too different. Jasmine is gonna head out. I don't think we'll see her tomorrow morning because tonight They're gonna come home really late and then they have an early flight. So unless my flight is canceled Which she is really hoping for. Why would it be canceled? Uh, I think the snowstorm. I think his name is Jones this time But Jones is coming apparently to the East Coast Northeast and the East Coast of America Well, in any case, this is probably the last time you're going to see Jasmine, so do you have any last words for the people of YouTube, the wonderful people? Well, one day maybe you'll see me. This, is, this may be my um, journey to stardom. Do you, you want to start YouTube? No. <laughs> but Where are you journeying to? <laughs> I don't know, maybe I'll become a celebrity this way. Like okay. a YouTube sensation. Bye!